guys welcome back to the channel today brings you the vlog between crystal palace and newly promoted leicester city this is my first home vlog of the season in the premier league news for today's game no real injury concern for leicester but for crystal palace new signing trevor chalaba is out injured after a muscle injury in training but hopefully maxence lacroix and eddie and ketia will both make their debuts for crystal palace today so let's hope for a good result as both clubs only picked up one point out of a possible nine in their first three games before the international break, how will we do? Come on, Palace, let's get the sellers. <laughs> the old seat for the Premier League game between Palace and Leicester. Line up over here. So, in goal, Dean Henderson as usual. Back three of the Fandle Coin. I don't know why Chris Rich is in this back three with Gahey and debutant Maxence Lacroix making his Premier League debut for Crystal Palace. In midfield, we've got Mitchell on the left, Mills on the right. Decore and Adam Warren, which I think is brilliant. No Will Hughes, but he's on the bench. And Ketty are making his Premier League debut for Crystal Palace. Eze as the number 10 and next to him. And up front is Jean Philippe Mateta. I think this is the strongest one that they could have played by Chris Richards over the Faneuil Climb. But still, absolutely brilliant lineup. And uh, we should get past this Leicester team, but don't write them off. <laughs> can't see it. But that does say 100 years of Sellers Park, 100 years. That's an achievement, obviously, for the football club. Ten minutes in, what nil nil still. Jordan Ayew for Leicester. Feels weird saying that, but he's had a free shot. Um, his volley hit the ground and over the bar. Still nil nil, but um, I say it's been pretty even so far. I was gonna film an attack there, but it ain't come that much. The cross not all right, and Ketty um, hasn't had much to do, to be honest with you. Well, and here is in Ketty, Klein, Munoz, not scored for Palace Munoz yet. Uh, That'll be a Palace free kick or throw. Chance of the gate at Palace so far, to be honest, it wasn't a great one. And Ketty uh, shot on a turn, blocked by Wout Faz. Didn't even go out for a corner, straight to the keeper. But still nil nil. Uh, we've not been great. I can't lie. We're playing really, really safe football. Nil Leicester, Jamie Vardy. Nil. The shit out scored. Went round the goalkeeper, put it in 1 0. Fuck you, Jesus Christ. In the form we had at the end of last season to this. What is going on with this team? Still 1-0 Leicester, we got a corner. There's a plays it short to the corner. Come on. There's a right foot, Klein, Wharton, Munoz on the right hand side. Away by Winks, Ayu. Leicester are in. Vardy's gone again. That ain't gonna Defended by Munoz. We played so badly. Teta on the left. He's won a corner out of it. He's won a corner out of it. We're still 1 0 down. Leicester at home. We, progression. We need these points. Essay's corner. Here we go. That's a better corner. The quarter. Couldn't get it. Manor's bicycle kick. And over. From Enketia. He's had a go at least. Jay's just missed an absolute sit up. No, 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 no. no. Eze. Eze had a shot in a six yard box. Wide. He should be scoring that. 1 0 Leicester. I stand by my words. This performance has not been great. My first Premier League game of the season at Sellers Park, and it's not been good one bit. I'm at Sellers Park. I haven't bought you much from the first half because it didn't provide much action, but it is 1 0 still to Leicester. And um, look, I wasn't at the West Ham game back in August. My first Premier League home game of the season, and I've got to say, since Roy Hodgson was at the club, it's the worst first half performance I've seen of 
Well, first up, for all, all performance I've seen so far since Royalton took over. And I said at the start of it, this is the most important Premier League game, in my opinion, before the next international break in October. Because after this, we've got United, Everton, and Liverpool. The plan like this, we're going to get battered in all three of them. I'm telling you, good, not good enough. We have to turn it around. Turn it around in the second half, and I'll be happy again. But from now, one point from 12 against Brentford, West Ham, Chelsea and Leicester. Off the end that we had last season. Do me a favour. Right, we'll kick off 2-0. Steffi Mavadidi. We're 2-0 down at under Leicester. Oh, I'm raging. Scored. Offside, I think. I think it's been given. VAR checking it, but... I think it's very clear offside. He taking the whistle to the mouth. What's going on? What's going on with VAR now? He's still checking this. It's a lengthy check. Be very handy if they give this. Quick response to going 2 0 down. Is he going to give this? I don't know. Two one Leicester still uh, climb off for Kamada. Not much to report in this second half, to be honest. Not many chances. I mean, I had a free header straight at Dean Henderson, but apart from that, not much really going on. We just don't drive forward quickly enough, and Leicester are quick to defend. Very defensive side, Leicester, and we just can't break them down. Close for a debut goal for Edin Katia. But that's a close chance we've had since going two one. Still two one Leicester. Oh God, hang on, here's Vardy. Beats the choir, Mavadidi. They've got their second goal. Scored against Palace in a 4-2 win. He's having to check the subs now. Yeah, no, no, that's up. That's it, I know. It's a report, still 2-1 Leicester. It's unbelievable how we're still 2-1 down and we're not attacking in the slightest. To be honest with you, mm. Mitchell, say. Gay okay, on in our half. So now we're losing. So they actually know we're losing this game. Slow start for both halves of Costas, and that's oh. a fact. Wharton, Mitchell, and Ketia. Good turn. Has he not given that? Suit is sliced through him. Penalty in the 90th minute. Oh my. Drama at Sellers Park, late drama. Five minutes running time, but we've got a penalty now. No arguments with that. Saar goes through. Tackled by someone or other. I don't know who put the tackle in, but it's definitely a penalty. No question of that. And it'll be Mateta, surely, to take this penalty to get us, well, a point more than I thought we'd get based off how we've played the first first half, really. It's Jean-Philippe Mateta in the 90th minute against Leicester's goalkeeper. I don't know who Leicester's goalkeeper is. Please, Mateta, just get us a point. Make it two points out. We're sort of one on the Premier League table. Just got a couple of pens in the Olympics as well, do Jean-Philippe Mateta. Mateta! Eze on the left. Imagine if we won this game now. Eze, Saar, straight to the keeper. I'm going to do this review old style because I haven't got my um, camera stand here with me. But full time at Sellers Park, Crystal Palace 2, Leicester City 2. Now, I am not pleased with the result by any means. But I guess the fact we were 2-0 down and come back from 2-0 down to make it 2-2 in the second half. Quite a resilient second half performance. But there were a few things that I weren't happy with. And I think we've had a little bit of a period at the start of the season when people have sort of accepted these poor performances. And even today, I saw a few supporters. I'm not, I'm not telling you how to support the club. But there were a few supporters that were 
accepting the fact that some of the players didn't play very well today. And, you know, I think Nathaniel Klein, I give him a lot of praise for the uh, Chelsea result. But today, he was sloppy. I think Munoz was sloppy, getting caught offside so much. Um, Eze just doesn't really have a go. And when he does have a go, he misses a few sitters. And I noticed that for England as well. Um, over the two games that he played for England over the international break. Uh, you know, you can't blame Glasner for a lot of it. Like, you know, Chris Richards, I said at the start of the video, but thinking about it, Chris Richards was was in the US squad literally about a day ago. Like, sorry, if you go back to their time uh, as well. Like, so, yeah, I mean, I guess you can put that into it as well. But this is meant to be a progression season. We've had Brentford, West Ham, Chelsea, Leicester, two points out of 12. It's not good enough. And the fact that our next three Premier League games, Man United, Everton away, where we struggle, and Liverpool at home, what can we expect? I don't expect too much, to be honest with you. And I think it's going to be a very, very similar start to last than it was last season. And we just got to hope we pick it up towards the end. Like, I know we're in September and I might be overreacting, but I didn't see too much promise out on the pitch today, especially in the first 46 minutes. That performance was dreadful. But at least we beat Norwich in the cup. whoop de doo And talking of the cup, my next video will be the vlog for Crystal Palace going to Queen's Park Rangers uh, in West London on Tuesday night. The vlog for that will be brought out on Wednesday uh, because um, obviously the game will finish by about half nine, ten o'clock. So, uh, yeah. But full-time 2-2, two, two, I ain't too pleased. Glad Mateta got a brace and I guess a, a, a point's better than nothing because it... it when Mavadidi made it 2-0, it was pretty much set in stone. So I'm glad that we got a point, but I don't think it's good enough. Progression season, and we're happy with a point against a newly promoted team. Need I say more? See you later, guys.